In business, amid the COVID-19 pandemic, Nigeria's largest pig farm has been hit by another deadly virus, the swine flu. Over 100,000 pigs have been lost to the flu in the past month. Fumi Unajafi tells us more. <laughs> Okiaro Farm, best known for its beehive of activities, is a shadow of itself. As sick pigs, dead pigs, and empty enclosures strike you as you visit. In February this year, the farm was struck with the African swine flu that unfortunately coincided with the coronavirus that soon escalated the situation. We speak to some of the farmers. The pigs first go off food, off water, and before you know it, their, their, their stomach, is um, they don't feed again, and uh, they are still watching, they drop dead, you know. And uh, they are, they, the, the infection has defiled all cure, all um, vaccine, so we can only w watch our animals dying by the day, one by one. I had 250. That's all I have. 50. How many do you have now? I have less than 50. I took a facility from two, three places. I took from back of Agri. I took from my MPFS. I took another one from a family, about two million. So all I am indebted to now is about three million. But here I am in May. No animal in my pen, no money in the bank accounts. In some countries, there are plans made available for farmers and small business owners to access loans targeted to help keep things afloat. A neighbor that is very, very close to me lost more than 20 million. All my investment in the last six months, feeding, do, and doing everything, I couldn't get anything out of it. As I'm speaking with you, I don't have a single one in my, in, in, in my farm right now. I've vacated the place. At the time of this report, some have been hospitalized due to high blood pressure, while some have passed on. We lost two of our members, valuable members, simply because of uh, you see, the, the, the problem of inability to pay back loans. Because some of us did the business through the loan. Some um, have 10 million loan, 8 million, 5 million vis-a-vis. -vis. So, because of that anxiety of how will I pay, made some of them to collapse. Even we have some that are already in the hospital. Meanwhile, the president of the Okiaro farm is holding out to hope that things will take a turn for the better. We, we need assistance for our farmer. Seriously, in this time, in this trying period, we need to revive their spirits to come back, especially the women. You see, the younger ones, they need to forge ahead. And uh, they can only forge ahead if there's assistance. As the lockdown begins to ease and businesses start to open with uncertainty, the big farmers in Okiaro do not know what to hope for or who to turn to for soccer. Time will definitely tell on this one. Fumi Unwajefe, reporting for Plus TV Africa.